What are the different forms of experiential education? There are a number of terms associated with experiential learning, and it can take different forms based on the purpose, people, learning activities, and places involved. Terms such as internship, practicum, field study, field work, clinical placement, work placement, co-op term, capstone, and others are the terms most commonly used within an EL program. Although they can be confusing when they are used interchangeably, the foundation of EL is based on the premise of providing opportunities for educators and employers or community partners to mentor students through authentic, hands-on learning. Different forms of EL can contribute effectively to student learning within different programs of study. These forms vary in the nature and structure of the experiences, learning outcomes, and forms of assessment. As you are designing EL activities, consider which forms might best suit your particular purposes. Knowing how to differentiate the forms of experiential education could prove helpful in determining which types will work best for your context. The resources in this module will help you with this. Our students are really fortunate. We have a great facility here. We have a community pharmacy set up uh, where students can um, role play that they are actually working in a community pharmacy where they're dispensing, compounding, um, doing billing, actually entering into the computer, counting um, the medications that are required. And then we have a whole other lab that is set up for a hospital pharmacy, which is different in community where we have more IVs. So we have um, a hospital lab where the students are filling 24 hour unit dose cassettes that is um, mainly used in hospitals these days, that type of delivery system. We really use the principles of project management to guide the student's internship. So the, the actual student uh, experience is through that lens. Um, but it also creates expectations for all the players. So even before the students come to our program, uh, we have an internship uh, coordinator that goes out and seeks industry partners that are interested in working with our students. Uh, that they will benefit from the project work that the students are involved in. We want to be very clear with those industry partners that we want them to benefit from this. It's not just something they're volunteering to do, that there would be an actual tangible outcome for them at the end of it. It's a five-hour class held at Rodman Hall, Class A Museum, and the students have their own studios to work in. So it's a fantastic opportunity because experiential level, learnings built in in every step of the process. They have their own studios uh, that they're working in. So if it's anything from conceptual work to more process oriented work, they've got their own space for working and reflection. The process is that we um, send out uh, an email to partners across the region and into the GTA uh, asking if there's any interest for um, non-for-profits to basically get a free website. So that's the first stage and we do the interviews, we have them fill out an application form and we find clients that are uh, suitable for both our program um, and for the students. So there's two wins here um, in this and, and this is when I have my conversations with um, the prospective clients and I let them know that there's two wins here. One is for them because they're getting a free website and the other is for the students. But I really stress to them that it's more about the students uh, getting that experience with a real world client than them getting a free website. It's just a more of a bonus for them. The course that I teach, it starts in third year, so my students are coming in on a bi-weekly basis and what we do in this course is we work with health professionals in the community. So I've pre-identified a number of different projects with the community partners and then I identify a number of students to be in the course and then they choose the project that they would like to be involved in and from there I have workshops together with the students and the health professionals and they talk about the issues that they have in the community and then the students work with them through a set methodology to identify what the issue is, what are the root causes, and then actually engage in interventions and evaluation of changes. 